Yeah, um, yeah. If you're looking for an opening day performance from the boys, that was probably it. You know, um, even first half, I thought we was, you know, good and controlled the game for probably 30 odd minutes. Um, obviously conceded a goal that we was a little bit frustrated about. But um, yeah, the message to the boys at half time was um, be disappointed of a goal that we conceded, but let come and let's step on from here. And um, you know, to a man, the second half performance was, um, look, from our point of view, incredible. I'm sure Beads and Beads quite well. I'm sure he won't be happy with them, but from our point of view, that second half was incredible. Yeah. And yeah, like you said, we got off to the perfect start, but then conceded near, near the end. What did you say at half time to rally the troops? Just, uh, I felt like after we conceded that goal, you know, to get it back to 1 1, I thought for, you know, 30 odd minutes, you know, we had scored, but their goalkeeper, Loach, had made a very good save. We had another one disallowed when we counted them very well. Um, just to stick within the shape, you know, we made a slight little tweak to it in the second half, and, um, you know, I've just said to the boys, you know, I can move, you know, markers around, magnets around on the ball, but they have to go out and execute the second half. But the way we pressed the ball the second half and counted them, then. Um, yeah, look, and I just said as well, you know, even the boys that was coming on, you know, people were disappointed that I've left them out opening down the season. I know I understand it, however, they didn't want to play, but to a man, the squad was incredible today, and I'm really proud of it. And in the second half, saw debut goals for House and for Baggy, and an incredible strike by Winter. What did you make of it? Yeah, it was just um, the technique on Winter's finish was brilliant, and yesterday, honestly, the, the, it come down with so much rain yesterday um, morning, so training was completely up in the air, and we ended up doing. Um, bit of fun, young the old volley and things like that. So I don't know whether it come from that or it's just Wince having very good technique, you know, and it's um it was brilliant to have him back today as well, you know, me so much so much the last season, you know, it was it, the first season for me, I said as a manager probably my player this season, so to be without him for pretty much all last year was um was tough for me to take. Um great finish but yeah then after that house he's carried on doing what he's been doing for us pre season, you know, he's worked great and he's he's always a threat in behind and finishing is very good. Um then Paney picked out a lovely ball for Cav on the third man run, you know, breaking from deep, took it very well. And then, you know, we've been seeing it with Bags, you know, in training. If he won v one square, someone up in and around the box, he's so quick, he's so lively. And um, the composure then to tuck it underneath the goalkeeper was really good as well. And um, yeah, look, when I get carried away, you only get three points. It's nice to win a game of football, of course it is, and it's to win it the margin we have, but um, we only get three points for it, so we're fully focused now on Tuesday night. And we didn't have that kind of dominating performance in pre-season. What changed in, in that last week, do you think, for today? It's really hard and people probably don't want to hear it, but pre-season has felt, felt so strange for all of us. You know, we've been playing games at home and um, there's not been any atmosphere. Um, it's hard to not, not have a feeling of a training game, um, you know, but this matters, you know. I said to the boys about it and we spoke about it, you know, the people that deal with best with these circumstances we're in at the moment, they're going to be the, the teams that do well. So. Um, I didn't get carried away with pre-season, I'm sure loads of fans looked at it and thought, oh, we haven't won here, we haven't won there, but I gave them a real first, say, two and a half, three weeks of pre-season, because we was out so long, I mean, we worked them, and we worked them tough, really tough. So then that was a, led into a few leggy performances in the early games that we played. Um, and then, yeah, was we at our best? Probably not, no, we probably wasn't at our best pre-season, but um, it builds up into the start of the season. And, um, just because we played well here today, you know, we won't get carried away got back that on Tuesday night against Torquay and then we've got to be ready for Auchenham next Saturday so um, yeah pre-season now every manager says it but pre-seasons don't mean anything you can win every single game pre-season and you lose first game of the season I don't know why or you cannot do as well as you would like to pre-season and then get off to a good start so um, support we keep our feet on the ground enjoy today enjoy the performance obviously um, but get ready to go again and finally as you say going again on Tuesday night what do you make of the Torquay test yeah it'd be tough we had two real real hard games against them last year you know we, we the one up at their place when we ended up winning 3 2 last minute when Tom scored, um, that was a real tough game. You know, there was a good side. And then even the one at home, we, we went up, th we went 3 0 up, I think it was in the first half, without playing particularly well, if I'm being honest. And they come back really, really tough second half. So, and we end up holding on to win that one 3 2. So, yeah, a lot, lot of respect for their manager. You know, he's, he's had an incredible managerial career. You know, they're, sort of, they're the sort of people that I have to look up to. You know, the ones that have done well at this level and above. Um, and it'll be another another tough test, you know, I've just quickly looked, I think they're winning today as well, so they'll be obviously buoyant going into a Tuesday night game. Um, but look, we'll be ready for them and we'll give it our best, you know, you can't never promise that we're going to win games football as long as we go out and perform like we did today, then you hope the uh, points will follow.